Thanks for visiting Wood and Shop. I'm Joshua Farnsworth, and I'm going to show you how to make a mortise and tenon joint, one of the most common and strong traditional woodworking joints. First lay out the board that you're using for your tenon up against the board you're using for your mortise, and mark it exactly in the place where you want it to line up. Mark the face so you know to measure only from, the fa from one side. Align the, the tenon board up on top of the mortise board to determine the depth that you want to go inside the mortise and mark that so that you know where to have your tenon shoulder. If you're going to be doing a through tenon, you can also do the same method and set the tenon back uh, to protrude maybe a quarter of an inch out the other end of the mortise. Next, take a marking gauge and scribe a mark all the way around the end of the tenon. This is the shoulder line. This is where the tenon will stop going into the mortise. Not every board has the same thickness, so make all your markings from the same reference face to ensure that the tenon will fit in the mortise. I like to mark my faces with some sort of squiggly mark so I don't lose track. This is how the marking gauge will look up against the reference face. We're going to mark the tenon on the tenon board. First what we'll do is we'll place the mortise chisel on the edge and center it by eye so it's in the middle and then take your marking gauge, this is a dual marking gauge, and simply put the cutters up against the, the chisel and adjust them so that they line up perfectly with the chisel. If you only have a single marking gauge you can do this in two steps. Scribe both of those measurements from shoulder to shoulder all around the top of the tenon. This is how the tenon will look up against the mortise and now you'll notice that I scribed some lines of where the tenon will go into the mortise. So now keeping the same markings on the same settings on your marking gauge, go ahead and scribe the same markings in between uh, the little lines there where your tenon will go. This is where your tenon will go in, but don't chop this out yet. This isn't the finished product. We still have to cut off the edges on each side of the tenon. To make your saw cut easier, take your bench chisel and create a little trench in the top of the tenon and then place your dovetail saw or a tenon saw if you're using a bigger tenon and start off cutting at a 45 degree angle and then slowly rotating your saw upwards and horizontal to create a kerf on top of the tenon. That will help you when you're coming and cutting from the other side. And then go back to the 45 degree angle and cut all the way down to your baseline. One key is do not go over that shoulder line or the baseline right there and then stop. Flip your tenon around in the vise, and then we're going to come back from the other side. So it should be a lot easier to go down through there because you created that curve from the top, and you're kind of following the curve from the other side down. So you can just cut horizontally down now, all the way, staying, just kissing the line, but bisecting it, and then stop on that shoulder line or baseline as well. After you've cut the other side, this is what your tenon should look like. Use your large bench chisel to create a little trench for your saw to fit into. Simply hit down on your shoulder line and then go back and cut a little V groove on top with the bevel down so that you can get a little V. Place your cross cut back saw into the shoulder line and cut straight down to that baseline, being very careful. Either it will pop right off or else you just grab your dovetail saw and slide it in there against the cheek and just, just carefully trim until that cheek just pops off. And this is what it will look like. Do it to the other side, just the same as you did it to this side. Your tenon might look a little rough, so use your bench chisel to clean it up a little bit if you like. Scribe two lines down the sides of your tenons, and with a dovetail saw or a tenon saw, cut straight down. The dimensions aren't super critical, but just go down until you hit the shoulder.
and with a crosscut carcass saw, go straight down until it pops off. Do the same to the other side. Take your freshly cut tenon and lay it in the middle of your mortise board and draw a line or use your marking knife to make a tick mark on both sides of, the, of where the tenon is. Then take a combination square and simply scribe a straight line down there and on the other side. This is the area that you will chop out with your mortising chisel. I like to use this traditional English method of securing the mortise. I like to use a clamp to secure the workpiece up against uh, another board, which the board that I'm clamping this against is in the vise, and then this other board right here is holding up the workpiece. Now let's chop the mortise. Make sure you don't put your chisel right up against the edge, but put your mortise chisel back a little ways so there's not too much pressure, and hit it straight down with your wooden mallet, and the angle will cause it to slide in So just walk it back a little bit towards the other end of the mortise. So stop before you get to the other end of the mortise, flip the chisel around, and walk back the other way. It's okay to chop through some of the other waste material, just hit it hard and go straight down. So occasionally you can clean out the mortise. I don't like to use a mortising chisel to pry it out. So now you can stick the actual mortise chisel right on the edge. Now there's not too much pressure in there. And go ahead and hit it straight down. So you'll have a nice vertical wall there. And do the same thing to the other, at the other end of the wall. Go ahead and continue to chop down through the mortise, walking back and forth as you did at the beginning. Use your combination square to measure the length of your tenon. Then use your square as a depth gauge to see how close you're getting to your desired tenon depth. So continue chopping until you reach that depth. And then when you finally reached bottomed out, you go ahead and clean out the mortise a little bit. Don't do trim too much, but clean it up enough and scrape out some of the waste inside. And then go ahead and take your tenon and make sure it's pointing in the right way and push it in with your weight. And then if you have to use a little mallet to smack it in. And there it is, a really tough mortise. You can see it's so difficult, it's even hard to pull apart. Well, if you found this video helpful, I would appreciate it if you subscribe and push that little blue button up in the corner. Uh, below the video, you'll find links to all the tools that I used in this section where you can find them, and also resources such as the, my 10 steps to getting started in traditional woodworking. So thanks for watching, and go out and practice and make yourself some mortise and tenon joints.